If you're a lover of Parmesan cheese, then this city's for you. I'm in Parma, Italy. I'm Sam Garza with World Travelers Today. Join me as I show you the best things to do in this amazing city. My first day of exploring began with a search for good coffee, and I found it at La Desi on Strada de la Repubblica. The staff was friendly, and the cafe also had some amazing looking pastries to choose from, but I decided to pass on the sweets, and I only had a coffee. The Parma Cathedral was located in Piazza Duomo. Construction of the cathedral began in the year 1059 and was completed in the year 1106. Parts of the church were destroyed by an earthquake in the year 1117, but was soon restored. I enjoyed visiting the cathedral and I think its painted ceiling is well worth seeing. Located next to the cathedral is the Baptistery of Parma. The octagonal structure is one of the most important medieval buildings in all of Europe. The Baptistery dates back to the year 1196 and contains 13th and 14th century frescoes. The dome is what makes it so appealing with what appears to be 16 rays of light shooting out of the ceiling. For lunch, I decided to eat at one of the best places in Parma, La Grepia. The menu is typical of the region, and I began with bread and some Parmesan cheese, followed by my main course of chicken, topped off with a coffee. Parma is a city that is part of Italy's Emilia-Romagna region, and this area is famous for their Parmesan cheese and Parma ham. But there is also some good wine from this area. I visited Enoteca Fontana, and here you can find good local wines at a reasonable price. After some good wine, I took a Spanish siesta to prepare for dinner and a night out on the town. If you're looking for good Parmigiana dishes, Angel de Or is the place for you. I ordered Parma ham for an appetizer followed by traditional tortellini. There are some bars that I recommend visiting. One of them is Panino di Artista. Located on the Strada de la Repubblica, this bar offers appetizers and a drink for 10 euros. Cafe Tomasini is another bar to visit. Here the locals hang out on the street to enjoy their drinks with family and friends. I enjoyed visiting Parma and I look forward to adding this city to one of my Italian food tours. I'm off to the next town, but thanks for watching and remember, travel deeper. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a trip to Europe, allow us to design the trip for you. We can provide expert advice to ensure your trip is one you'll never forget. So please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.